Question 23. Find an equation of the line that passes through C and is perpendicular to AB. So something like that. If we need to know a line that's perpendicular to AB, first we need to know the gradient from A to B. So we can calculate that by finding the gradient as y minus y1, uh, y2 minus y1, over x2 minus x1. In this case for b, the coordinates of b we know are 0, 4, and the coordinates of a are minus 2, 0. So we just need to be consistent with these two numberings, so we'll call x2 and y2 b, and x1 and x2 for a. So the y coordinate for b is 4, take away the y coordinate for a, which is 0, and the x coordinate for b is 0, take away the x coordinate for a, so that's subtract negative 2 leaves us with 4 over positive 2, which is 2. That's the gradient for m for a to b. We want the perpendicular gradient to that, which is the negative reciprocal of this gradient. So that would be negative 1 over 2. The reciprocal of a number is just 1 over that number. So now that we've got the gradient, we can, work, we can write down part of our line here. We know it's going to be the form y equals mx plus c. And now we can write in the gradient. y equals a half x plus c. If we substitute in the coordinate we've been given, 5 minus 1, we'll be able to work out c, the y-intercept. Let's substitute in. So y is minus 1 equals minus a half times x, which is 5, plus c. Now let's rearrange this. So we have minus 1 equals minus 5 over 2 plus c. And if we want c, we just need to add 5 over 2 to both sides. So we'll be left with c on the right-hand side, and on the left-hand side, we'll have 3 over 2. The final thing is we can just write out our equation y equals a half x plus 3 over 2.